need deliverance. I need it. I need deliverance. I need to submit. I need a father that is accessible that I can call. I need a father that I can run to and say, these are my issues, these are my challenges. A father that is accessible. Some of you are privileged. You call me. Are you at home? I say yes. You come. You sit down. Even some of you will sit down with me. And you have come to see me, you'll still be pressing phone. Why you are in my phone? Why you are in my present? You'll be pressing phone. I just look at you aloud. I need a father. I have lost my own. My spiritual father is late. I need a spiritual father that is what? Accessible, that I can call. And they say, what is the issue? Because this very one I am telling you that I need deliverance. I need to submit myself for deliverance. That praying for people. They don't come to say thank you. Even Jesus himself asked a question. He said, where are they now? Where they not turn? That we're here? What happened to others? That is the kind. I don't know if that is the ministry God has come into. That you train up people when they are mature they know to begin to duplicate. Replicate what has been given to them to manifest. The next thing you see them, they go away and join other church. May God, who has called me I have cried to you, O oh God, today. I need deliverance. If it is force, if it is power, today, I break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I break it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God not let me pass this parting of helping people and not showing remorse. May I not pass it to my children, to my generation. Amen. Amen. I say, may I not pass it to my generation in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May you not pass it to your generation in the name of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. May your children not help people and they are neglected. Amen. Amen. There is nothing that is as bad as that. Look at the church. Some of you are still waiting get what you are looking for and go I will not kill myself I have come to God just as I am today that he should deliver whatever is that thing stopping people I have seen where people bless pastors, their pastors with a car we were in a conference pastors conference a man stood up and he said he came out of his house one morning and he saw car keys in his compound. Three. Another one came out and said he saw two. The one that blew our mind was when somebody was saying that if you go to a higher grace, I will mention his name if you permit me. Car keys with particulars. He doesn't even know who brought them. He doesn't even know. The whole compound feed up. And as they are bringing, he's giving out. He's giving them, giving them out. You take, you take, you take, you take, you take. Take, take the key, go and find the car. Take the key, go and find the car. Take the key, go and find the car. What have we not done? What have we not done for you? What have I not done? What have I not done for you? 